So it's autumn now and you want your videos to have that autumn winter look about them. I've created a pack of autumn winter style preset looks to make things nice and simple for you. Now I will be doing a full video of how to color grade in the autumn winter style so keep an eye out for that but for now I just want to show you a nice simple way of getting the autumn winter look using these looks. Before we start though I'm going to show you a couple of examples of these looks and what they look like. So here they are. If you do want to check out the look pack, it's in my website, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. Check them out and see what you think. So there's a couple of things that you need to do before you just slap the look straight on. You need to prepare your footage and that'll give you the best quality and the best image and make it easier for you to color grade as well. And the things you need to do are contrast and white balance. And once you've put the LUT on, you'll just have to do a little bit of tweaking because there's no way that a LUT can work for every piece of footage because there's just too many variables for it to work, too many different colors, lighting, etc. So there will be a couple of bits that you need to do after you've put the LUT on, but then that's it. That's it. So three main things to consider right now I'll just show you uh, a couple of clips that we're going to use for examples now just so you get a taste of what we're looking at and obviously because it's an autumn winter style pack I thought I'd use some examples of where we filmed outside as well and we've got all these colors the trees and the leaves and also the lake we've got all those colors to work with so we'll make that look nice and autumnal so first things first, we're gonna jump in to our editor and I've got open the Lemetri scope window here because I like to see the information that we've got working with the colors and also the exposure. Now I use the vector scope YUV and the waveform Luma. You can change those by right clicking in this window here. Mm, pardon me. You go on parade type and I select YUV, vector scope YUV and the waveform type as Luma. I just, you don't have to have those, but I just prefer those. I'm, I'm used to working with those now. But, uh, so the one on the left here shows us our exposure levels and then the one on the right shows us our saturation and colors. So if we lean in too far towards a certain color, we can correct it and see whereabouts we are. The first thing that I normally do is adjust the contrast and the exposure. So I'm just going to scroll over till I find a, a good clip that represents this at its best. So I'm going to go here because that, we've got a load of trees there that we like the look of um, and she's well lit there as well. So we'll use this clip here. So going over to our basic correction tab on the Lemetri color section, uh, I'm just going to make a few tweaks. So let's start with the exposure. Again, in another video, I'm going to show you all about how to set your exposures and more in depth with the color grading process as well but for now we're just tweaking little bits and and this will give you a general idea of what of what to do before you put your LUTs on and I, and I want to make all the clips match in color and exposure before we put the LUT on otherwise you'll get clips that are just too different and it'll look hard so I'm gonna bring the shadows down a bit because it's quite overexposed here so I'm just gonna bring that down and again just you're going to have to play around with this as well because every clip's different, but just have a tweak, see what you think looks good. Now, the reason why I don't adjust the contrast slider on its own is because that will bring up the highlights and bring down the shadows. But if you don't want to bring up the highlights any more than they are, then it's pointless and it's going to ruin your footage if you do that. So I always adjust them separately. So that's a lot better. That This was before and after. Is she's a bit more separated from the background now. I'm just going to bring the highlights up a smidge. Oh, just a little bit there. 
so she still stands out. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is adjust the white balance. That's driving me crazy how green she looks. Now what I tend to look for with the white balance is skin tones. If the skin has got an odd tint to it, in this case it's very greeny, then you'll need to tweak it. So I can see that she's very green here. And in our vector scope here, you can see that the colors are leaning quite heavily into the yellow and green area. So we're gonna balance that out a bit by bringing this tint over to the magenta side. And you can see already, just, you don't have to go overboard on this, just until her skin starts to look more natural. What will happen as well is if you go too far, the highlights will become that color. So that's, again, you want to steer clear of that. So just somewhere in between. And you can just A, B it, so before and after. So already, look, that's a lot better. I think it might be too much. But you'll have to come back and tweak as well because when, when we adjust the other colors, that might make some changes as well. So it's a little bit orangey on her white shirt as well. So I'm going to bring the temperature down into the blue a little bit. Now her shirt wasn't pure white, but I'm just going to bring it down to make it a bit more neutral. There you go. So it's before. Now you can see how green it was before and then after. So it's a lot better now. A lot better. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to move on to the next clip and scrub along till I find a little clip here. There we go. She'll, she'll like how I've paused it on that clip there. She's going to hate me. Same thing again. I'm going to bring the shadows down just to separate her from the background a little bit. Highlights up just a smidge. There we go, I'm happy with that. Now she's very green in this one, so I'm gonna bring the tint up towards the magenta, that's all right. And then again, a lot of orange, look at her shirt. So I'm gonna bring that over towards the blue to balance it out a little bit more. I'm just going to bring those shadows down just a touch more. There we go. As you can see, it separates her from the background a little bit. Okay, so if let's just play these clips together and make sure they match up. Okay, so they now look like they belong together. So we are ready to put our LUT over the top. So what I'm going to do is make an adjustment layer. So you go over to here, a new item, adjustment layer and then we bring click and drag that over the top of our footage i'm just going to extend that so it covers both clips the reason i'm making an adjustment layer is because it's a lot quicker if we've got 100 clips that we're working with we would then have to apply the LUT or the color grade to each of those clips then and it would take a long time so putting an adjustment layer over the top and stretching it across all of your footage just makes it a lot quicker and if we want to make any changes or to try a different style of look we can just add another adjustment layer and hide this one and then compare the two. Right, so this is how to apply the LUT properly. Click on the adjustment layer, head over to the Dimitri Color tab over here, click on Creative. You'll be able to make a few more different types of adjustment here, so that'll be important in a bit and I'll show you why. So head over to Look, click the drop down menu, browse to where you keep your files, and let's go for Cool Mornings. The first thing I want to point out is this intensity slider here. And basically what that does is it blends in the original colors or the original clip with your LUT. So as you can see, if I move it across there, it brings in more of the LUT. And you can do this, you can dial it down, but if you don't want any of those co original colors creeping in, then it's good to keep this at 100. I'm gonna do that for this example. Uh, I'm just going to bring the saturation down a smidge. There we go, and that's balanced it out a lot more. So her skin tones are a bit more subtle now. I can also add a bit of fade to it, which I like, but I'm not going to do it in this example. So that's it, I've just made a few little tweaks. And I quite like that. So there we go, it's a lot better. So let's just play that. And these clips match perfectly now. Love it. Let's try a different one. Let's mute this channel, stick the adjustment layer over the top here. Let's add a different LUT here. Let's try Platinum Steel. Right, very dark. So I could adjust the intensity and bring it up like that, but it's bringing too much of those greens in, which I don't like. 
So this time I'm gonna go over to the basic correction tab and I'm gonna bring the shadows up. There we are, and then maybe just the highlights, bring those up a tad as well. There we go, so let's try this. There you go, just, so just a little bit of tweaking. Quite like where the saturation is on that, but just a little bit of tweaking goes a long way and that's all we had to do, just a couple of alterations and we were done. So let's just look at another example here. I'm gonna do the same thing as we did in the first clip, so, so I'm gonna whiz this on so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. There we go, so that's all, all done. So these clips match a lot better now. There we go, and we are ready for the LUT. So here we go, another adjustment layer. I'm just making separate ones here. Drag that across all of the clips. So remember to go over to Creative, Look. Browse to where your files are. Let's try Platinum Steel again. I like that one, it's my favorite. Right, so as you can see, all the shadows are a bit too low there. So I'm gonna go on Basic Correction. Again, you could blend it in but I like to keep that full color on. You could just notch it down a tad. I'm just gonna bring the shadows up. Not too much though, because this particular LUT has that dark color to it, so I wanna keep that. Let's just see what it's like for the rest of the clips. Yeah. And I'm looking over here as well at the waveform, making sure that nothing's too dark, and nothing's way below that zero. Yeah, that's quite good. Here we are, back over to creative. I'm gonna add some of this fade here on this faded film slider, just because I like it. It's got that vintage vibe to it, especially there, look, look at that. Just gives a nice wash to it. Done, simple as that. So don't just slap the LUT on and hope and think it's going to look amazing straight away uh, there are, there will be a couple of bits that you need to do as i say the exposure the white balance and then a few tweaks here and there but doing those bits before you put the LUT on will make it easier to tweak afterwards so yeah i hope you've got something from this as i say look out for the video on the full color grade i will show you how to get those autumn winter style colors in your in your edits so look out for that video thanks again for watching please like and subscribe to the channel but yeah i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching Oh, <laughs>